guys welcome back okay so today I decided I wanted to try my hand at this crazy tag video that's going around now the first person that I saw do it was Annette from Annette's makeup corner she's always putting herself through these crazy torturous if I only had or if I only could type videos <laughs> so the video that she did was if I could only keep 10 palettes, 10 eyeshadow palettes, um, which ones would I keep? So that is something that could be very, very tough for we beauty YouTubers to do because typically we have a lot of makeup, a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and it can be kind of hard to pick and choose just 10. If you have a smaller collection, a more curated collection, um, it might be a little bit easier, but for me, it got a little bit tough towards the end. I know certain palettes just right off the bat. I was like, okay, yeah, that's not going, that's not going, that's not going. But then as I got closer to number 10, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, which one should I pick? So let me just jump right in because I don't want to <laughs> make this too long. I just want to tell you guys what my... 10 palettes would be if I could only keep 10. If somebody came in here right now and was like, okay, you can only keep 10 palettes, you better hurry up and grab them. I guess these are the ones that I grab. And they're not necessarily all my favorite palettes, although I do have a lot of my favorites in here. They're just palettes that I believe would give me a nice range of eyeshadows to choose from and if you guys know anything about me you know your girl has to have some colors so let's just jump right in okay first one right off the bat always comes to mind every time I come into my beauty room actually I want to pick up this palette but <laughs> I'm like no you got to use something else so this is my Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette okay I did do a video using this palette I love this palette. Now for a lot of people their initial thought when it comes to an eyeshadow palette might be I gotta have some neutrals, I gotta have some basic warm tones, cool tones, browns, blacks, whatever. For me my initial thought when it comes to an eyeshadow palette is I need a rainbow period. <laughs> First off I need a rainbow so this palette I love I love this palette so much the colors the formula let me give you a closer look this palette has so much versatility and range in it it's just a bomb palette to me there's even some highlighters in this palette which I really you know don't even use but when I swatched them they were amazing but the reason why I have to have this palette is because of the range the formula is nice as well let me just do a few swatches okay I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet but I do want to do a few swatches for you guys from these palettes just so you can get an idea of why I like them so much so let me just swatch a few shimmers first. So these are a few of the shimmers from this palette. So as you can see, the shimmers are very nice. Now the mattes are very, very pigmented, so they are a drier formula. But me personally, I love extremely pigmented shadows. So. Those are just a few swatches from this Carnival XL palette, so it has to be number one for me. So next, continuing on the line of your girl has to have some color, I picked my Makeup Shack Rainforest palette. This is an extremely affordable rainbow palette and I really like it because it's not just your basic rainbow, it has a lot of other different how can I put it kind of like like these grungy greens up here beautiful warm tones you can do a basic look with this palette but you have your lighter shades your greens your browns and reds oranges purples blues of course a nice black in here a white up here as well so this is a very nice well-rounded rainbow palette I do like these type of palettes because of the fact that 
there's a nice variation of mattes and shimmers but it also has a black and a white i love when there's a black and a white and i love when they include um some browns in here as well because you can never go wrong with okay i got my rainbows and i got my basic neutrals and warm tones so let me do a few swatches so these are a few of the shimmers from this palette And these are a few of the mattes. So as you can see, another nicely pigmented palette, but it does have some beautiful variation when it comes to the colors that are in this palette. I love this palette. Okay, next I have a smaller palette, but definitely a must have for me. This is the Colored Rain and Power Collab eyeshadow palette that they came out with not too long ago. I love this palette. As I was looking at all of my different palettes, because purples and blues are like my favorite eyeshadows to use. So when I was thinking about, okay, what do you want? What purple eyeshadow palette would you absolutely have to have? I immediately thought of this one because even though this palette does have this beautiful blue purple in here this gorgeous unique shimmer down here it does have some absolutely amazing kind of like burgundy wine type shades in here so those give me a little bit more variation than just a purple palette plus I love this formula so let me do some swatches right quick So those are some of the shimmers and these are some of the mattes. I know it's not the best swatches on my hand but you get the idea. Okay so another must have out of my 10 palettes would be this Plain and Makeup by Yolando Jamrock Rebirth eyeshadow palette. I love her palettes. She just takes color to a whole nother level. She is not afraid of color. She loves pigment just as much as I do. And all of her eyeshadow palettes are just bursting with color and pigment, okay? I love her palettes and I love her formula. So this is what this Jamrock Rebirth palette looks like. I have a few of her palettes, but this one really speaks to me because although it is a very colorful palette. There's some beautiful, unique shades in this palette. Oh my gosh, the green, the blue, the purple, they're just, uh, let me swatch a few of these for you. Do you see those colors? Oh my goodness, so pretty. And they just look absolutely beautiful on the eyes as well. And these are some of the mattes. So you can see how nicely pigmented those are. Very, very pretty. Okay, next must have in my collection is the new Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Okay, absolute must have. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. The shades are so so pigmented the formula is amazing okay just beautiful this palette to me is it's kind of surprising because you look at it you're like eh, nice little you know warm earthy tones or whatever it's not that exciting you got your gold you got your browns which I love which would definitely be a staple in my collection if I could only keep 10 palettes but this palette has some amazing this green this blue i mean they are just ah. <laughs> okay so let me swatch it for you so you can see what i'm talking about so those are some of the amazing shimmers in this palette oh my gosh absolutely gorgeous and these are some of the mattes and with her mattes, it's like they're a different type of formula. It's like a creamy matte formula. It's not dry and powdery. Some of the specialty shades that she has in here, oh my gosh, they are just so beautiful. And I really like working with them, okay? 
Okay, next up on my must-have is this The Tribe by Juvia's. Okay, this palette, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I chose this palette because... There's something about, even though Metro the Metropolis has a beautiful green in there as well, but there's something about this palette that just sings to me. The combination of the greens with the oranges and the golds, it just, I don't know. I love this palette and I wouldn't want to not have it. So yeah, this palette is beautiful. I love Juvia's Places Formula and this combination of shadows I really really like. I love the fact that I would have this nice beautiful duochrome shade, of course this gorgeous dark green shimmer, these other greens to play with, oranges. It's just a really beautiful well-rounded green palette. So those are a few swatches of the shimmers. and some more swatches <laughs> that orange is a shimmer as well so pretty okay for palette number seven of course I chose my Ace Beauté Oceanic palette this palette was <laughs> an absolute must no question about it gotta have it this is hands down my favorite blue green palette that I have in my collection. I have a few other blue palettes, a couple other green palettes, but whenever I think of a gorgeous blue eye look, um, I don't do green that often, but the greens in here are gorgeous as well. But yeah, this palette must have, it's no question about it, definitely have to have this in my collection. Let me do some swatches. So those are some of the shimmers. And those are some of the mattes. Just gorgeous. Next, as I was going through my collection trying to figure out what 10 palettes that I would absolutely have to keep, um, of course I came across my ABH collection and out of all my ABH palettes my first initial thought was my soft glam because the soft glam palette is bomb very nice it's just a very beautiful soft glam palette but as I gave it more thought and knowing me and my personality I realized it had to be the Jackie Ina palette <laughs> okay has to be this one um just the color story in here fits me, fits my skin tone way, way better than the Soft Glam. Even though you can still create some really beautiful Soft Glam looks with this palette. She has some gorgeous shimmers in here, some nice warm earthy tones in here as well. There's no black in here, but I do have blacks in some of the other palettes that I chose, so I'm okay there but just the shimmers in here and the fact that there's this gorgeous you know red tone brown these purples in here some pinks in here it just gives me more range in an ABH palette so I definitely had to choose this one so let's do some swatches that red is so pretty that red is very very similar to the one that is in the Pat McGrath palette what is it the bronze ambition or bronze goals or what is it bronze and whatever y'all know what palette I'm talking about is very very similar to the red that is in the Pat McGrath palette in case she was wondering <laughs> and here's just a few more swatches so this palette definitely has a little bit more color for me to choose from in a ABH palette. You guys probably thought I would pick the Alyssa Edwards or the Riviera. No. <laughs> I, I like color, but I like 
deep rich saturated color like you know the deep blues and greens and purples and stuff and although those palettes are beautiful and colorful they are not I don't know they just they're too spring and too summer for me if that makes sense okay so I wasn't even gonna pick a Pat McGrath palette because I mean, I'm one of those that kind of feel like they a little bit overrated, but anyway, yeah, I wasn't even going to pick a Pat McGrath palette, but as I was thinking about different eye looks that I like to do and what I would absolutely have to have in my collection, I realized that my Decadence palette, which is the one that comes in this packaging, if you're not familiar but my decadence palette is one that honestly I I would miss if I didn't have it in my collection even though I don't really use it that much this palette is the one that has like all the different colored shimmers there's no mattes in here but they're all beautiful amazing shimmers so this is something that I would absolutely love to have in my 10 palettes because it just gives me that extra pop for my lid. I mean, I will say, even though I feel like <laughs> she's a bit overrated, her formula is amazing. I will never take anything away from her formula. It is amazing, but I've tried a lot of shadows and a lot of palettes and some of them come close and some of them I like even better so but this palette here I definitely have to say needs to be in one of my 10 palettes okay and for my absolute last palette I actually have two palettes here because I feel like someone might say no you can't pick that one that one doesn't count no because this even though I purchased this as one complete set, one complete palette, just all together. I did not piecemeal this together or purchase this bit by bit. I purchased this all as one palette. So for my very last palette, if I had to, you know, choose only 10, I would definitely keep my Adept eyeshadow palette okay <laughs> this is from adept cosmetics if you guys saw my video you know that i purchased this as one whole set not too long ago they do have where you can purchase their individual shadows of course um but i decided to purchase the whole set so i bought every single eyeshadow that they sell and I bought a magnetic palette for them too. Well, the set comes with a magnetic palette. So this is <laughs> what the set looks like. This is the complete set of all of their eyeshadows that they sell. Now, of course, with me having this complete set, this would meet several, if not all of my eyeshadow needs. Okay, so yeah I would absolutely keep this <laughs> as my 10th eyeshadow palette and honestly I think this should count because I bought it as one old palette and it's my palette so I think it should count but I am going to include one more just in case or just for those who think that single eyeshadow should not count in this tag but let me do a few swatches of this Adept palette for you. So these are some of the diamond and shimmer shades. A few more shimmers. And some mattes. So these are from my Adept Cosmetics palette. Now you guys look at these shadows and tell me that I should not be able to keep my palette in this tag, okay? <laughs> Gorgeous. But for those of you who feel like no single shadow should be allowed in the 10 eyeshadow palette tag, 
Ah, my last eyeshadow palette that I would definitely want to have as one of my 10 would be my Tati Beauty. This is her, what is it, the Warm Neutrals, Textured Neutrals Volume 1 <laughs> eyeshadow palette. Yeah, this is one that I would like to keep as part of my 10 palettes. Now, it's not one that you would probably think, oh, appeals to me because you guys know I love color. But I like this palette. I really, really do. I like this palette a lot. I love the burgundy tones. I love the orangey tones in here. It has the nice dark smoky options as well. It's just, I like the whole feel of this palette and I love glitter. A lot of people don't like glitter. I happen to like glitter. <laughs> so just the fact that there are different glitter options in here as well as the sequin shades, I would definitely make this one of my palettes. I mean, if I need to do a neutral look, a warm tone look, a cool tone look, just whatever, um, I can do that. This black is very nice. These creams are nice. I like this palette. So I know you guys have seen this a million times, but I think this would definitely go well as one of my 10 eyeshadow palettes. I like it. The textures, the colors, I would want this as my last palette. So if you're telling me I can't have my <laughs> Adept Shadows, I definitely want this palette as one of my 10 palettes. So that is it, you guys, for the 10 palettes that I would choose if I could only pick 10. And if you know anything about my palette collection, you know I have quite a few palettes <laughs> that I had to choose from. So these palettes are very special to me and I think they would be a pretty good base for an eyeshadow collection for me at least so I think this was a great tag Annette thank you for going ahead and starting this at least you're the person that I know that started it I did watch a few other youtubers that I watch all the time do this tag in the back of my mind I knew I wanted to do it I just hadn't taken the time to sit down <laughs> and torture myself so yeah a lot of fun i think if you like this type of video or this tag and you want to do it yourself i would love to watch your videos as well so thank you so much for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video Toodles.